Well, crochet artist Gina Galena joins us right now with all the juicy details of her Apple project. And if the project is appealing to you, there's a way you can get involved. Welcome back to the show, hey, Gina. Gina. Hi, thank you. Yes, thanks for bringing this. Oh, you look great. All this stuff. Gina, tell us about your Apple project. Okay, so for Bentonville's 150th anniversary, we are crocheting two apples okay. for them. A three-foot apple, and we use an inflatable. I've already done one, so I kind of set the pattern for the second one. Okay. Now I'm inviting the community to come help me crochet the second one okay and we need 80 of these granny circles and I've got 40 so we need 40 more okay and then you what do you how do you make a giant apple well you take a giant ball of yarn and you take a <laughs> giant hook and you eat a lot of apples and then, <laughs> or you can go to my website yeah. and download the pattern oh, and, okay. and usually you know we have granny squares but this time I decided to do granny circles because I figured it would be easier for us to sew it on and there really isn't a pattern of how to crochet a giant apple so we're gonna make it up as we go along I gotcha see. so these circles just just for mm -hmm. example sake you're gonna take these these circles that you already have, mm -hmm. and then you're going to patch these together We're gonna sew on the apple together. to create one big crochet mm -hmm. apple. Yes, and you say you've already done one of I've these, already done one. which okay. is hanging right now in Orchards Park, mm -hmm. but it's going to kind of migrate throughout the city of Bentonville, yes. right? it's going nice. to be at Orchard Park for the month of July, and then they're going to move at different locations until October. Okay, okay. I see. Okay, so how cool is this? If you are a crocheter, this is your chance to help out with a very cool project also by celebrating 150 years, you said, mm -hmm. uh, for the city of Bentonville. So, go on yeah. Gina's website, get the pattern, and you can contribute. This yes, is very cool, very Gina, cool. inviting yeah. the community to help. Absolutely. Even if you just do one, you know, it's fun. And if yeah. you don't crochet, you can come to the event July 22nd okay. at the library, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., also on my website. Even if you don't crochet, just come and hang out, supervise. So on, on that day, <laughs> yeah, like I, said, I need to be supervised with this Mad Hatter's hat on. We got a so lot of those. <laughs> on, the, on the 22nd, that's the day you're going to put it all together? Yes. Okay. And people can drop them off. I think we had a graphic. They can drop them off in Bentonville or... You said even you'll make a trip and pick sure, people's yeah. granny just, circles up. Yeah, just give me an, shoot me an email, send me a message. I will arrange a drop off or a pickup, however we can get them. I love okay. it. And you're halfway there. This you're halfway there. Halfway. Yes. Okay. I mean, what is inside of this? <laughs> That's another inflatable. That's a beach ball. And actually, oh, got you. this has been blown up since 2015. Wow. What? And I rewrapped it. I've added some more for just for today. If my cat's oh, got a hold of that, it wouldn't have blown up any longer, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you that. I've got four cats, so we keep this far away. Yes, you've got to keep these inflatables away. happen, yeah. Especially that ball of yarn. Yeah. So cool. Thank yes. you. Yes. How do you, get, how do you get started with your career? Obviously, you do so much in our community, but specifically, you do crochet art. And why did you choose that as your medium? I don't know if I actually choose to, you know, made, made that choice. It just yes. kind of happened. Yes. <laughs> it just started, and then, I don't know. It's just, like, it, most crocheters know once you start crocheting, you just, there's no way out of it. Right. And so, you know, through the pandemic, I used that opportunity to kind of, you know, do that full time. And I haven't stopped yet. I so, love it. Yeah. yeah. It's just fun. I've been seeing a lot of people on uh, social media show off their crochet art as well. There's one girl, she crocheted like her prom dress. I know, yeah. I know a lot of people are wearing like dresses and mm -hmm. skirts and everything like that. It's and coming so back. It is awesome. Yeah. Though. I'm no longer the oddball. So like everybody's <laughs> crocheting. I'm like, yes. It's cool yes, again. So you know, yes. <laughs> what if what if you get more than what you need for oh, this yeah. apple? So I figured we'll just make like a little party banner. Yeah. And, you know, like there's that. a lot of people that knit, and so that probably knitting wouldn't work with this project because of the consistency of it. Sure. But if you knit and want to make a circle or a square, we can add that to the party banner. I love so, that. So, yeah, Very just... Fun. A party banner to celebrate the 150 sure. years. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they'll figure it out. And I think we're going to hang the community one at the library okay. in Bentonville. So, so yeah. that'll be its permanent home, whereas yeah. the other one's going to kind of travel. Yes, I and see. it's going to be outside. Okay. This one's going to be more inside. Okay. okay. And so I might crochet a caterpillar, a worm for it. So oh. if anybody wants to help with a worm, call me. Oh, I love <laughs> On my that. crochet phone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yes. head over to Gina's website if you want to help out either with the circles or the caterpillar. Yes. Gina, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Gina. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Absolutely.